Hi, my name is Victor Hosens. I'm the founder and co-CEO of Team Liquid. The principal moments for Team Liquid and Dota, it starts with getting top eight at TI3 um, with our North American roster. Well before EG started paving the way for North American rosters to be winning championships. Just we weren't expected to do very well and we beat one of the the, the big Chinese teams, one of the favorites for the tournaments, and, and in that moment it was just uh, it was it was massive and it's I think it's a classic not just a liquid moment but a classic Dota moment in general. The, the roster that we had, it was reshuffling, um, and we lost the, the the bidding war like for that roster. It wasn't a decision to leave the game, you know. Like in, in that moment in time, like they decided to go another organization, and we decided to take a break from Dota as a result. Basically, the next TI where we didn't have a team, I still flew in to see if there were any free agent players to speak with, and uh, tried to get back in, and, and we did. Winning Epicenter in 2016 was a great moment for the organization. Uh, not just Dota-wise, but if you compare that moment to everything that we've won in the past, you know, there's only there's very few moments in our history that are of that scale and of that level. I think we had some really big wins in StarCraft. I think our Counter-Strike final in Cologne was massive. Uh, our EVO win, and, and this is right up there. They've timed it right. They're going to ultimate super, but he gets bring back Jerex with the axe pulling the side. Got the ice blast for Kuroki. Liquid, they are doing it. That's again. it. GG is called, and Liquid, they've broken the curse. Hey, they take down the Chinese champions. So we got top eight in the last international, which by all means, it's not a bad result. Um, that is the world championships of Dota, and we were among the eight best teams. So the fact that it felt like a disappointment to everyone, to us, to the players, to the fans, um, I think is a testament to how well our team was playing leading up to the tournament. Um, I think there was only one team in the scene, uh, which is OG, that was uh, uh, considered a, a bigger favorite and a better team than, than we were at that time. We came into TI with great hopes. Um, and. We did all right. Like I really, you know, I would never downplay getting top eight at an international, but the way we'd been playing that year, I think everyone was hoping for a little bit more.